This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update video for July 25th, 12 noon. Here's the original forecast track from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Bonnie. This is the HER track program showing the very first cone of error on Bonnie as it was in the central Bahama Islands as a tropical depression. And you can see the orange average cone of air stretches from Havana all the way up to just north of Key West, Florida here in the very southern tip of the Florida Peninsula. And that stretches over here to New Orleans to the right. And the black line indicates the actual path that Bonnie took. So the National Hurricane Center was still pretty much within their cone of air. Um, it deviated a little bit in the beginning here and got outside of that cone. It went a little bit more northwest in the early days of development and then as it started approaching Florida it pretty much stayed within the cone and then veered off just slightly as it came into Miami as a 40 mile an hour tropical storm. Uh, so this is why they always preach not to pay attention to the line but rather the cone of error because usually the right or the left is where the system is going to go. So they were off about, about 40 to 60 miles north to south on their course uh, when it hit South Florida. So it's, you know, this is why they always tell you to be prepared even though the line does not indicate you're going to be affected. They had a little bit of problems with intensity. They were predicting this to re-strengthen the Gulf. That never happened. The system moved inland this morning in Louisiana and is now inland and, and really a non-factor. So let's do a little inventory. Where do we stand right now? Here's my predictions for the week page. And I predicted on Monday, before this became a tropical depression, that this would become Tropical Storm Bonnie, remain a very weak tropical storm, pass south of Florida near Cuba, go into the Gulf, and remain a very weak minimal tropical storm as it headed into Louisiana. So I was not really that far off on that. I mean, I, I was a little bit far, far south on the forecast track, but the actual intensity forecast was pretty much dead on, except that it did not remain a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico it weakened and I also predicted that we would see a potential depression form on the back side of an upper level low that was in the Gulf of Mexico that almost happened as it moved into Mexico but it, the, the National Hurricane Center's focus was on Bonnie so they, prob they probably it may or may not have been a tropical depression when it moved into Mexico so overall not real bad you know considering this was uh, way before any of the either one of these systems developed um, now, my yearly predictions, I, on June 1st for the hurricane season kickoff show, I come out with my 20 cities and islands I think are going to be affected by a named storm within 60 miles. And Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Miami, and Bimini were knocked off the list by Tropical Storm Bonnie. Fort Lauderdale was on the northern end of the Tropical Storm Force wind field. Miami was affected directly, and Bimini, Bahamas was affected directly. Uh, but I still will wear the chicken suit if we if Fort Lauderdale is not affected by a hurricane within 60 miles this year. We have a long ways to go yet on this. But we'll keep an eye on this list on my predictions for the week page. All right, here's the climatological normals for July 25th. As you can see, things are pretty quiet normally this time of the year. All the activity shifts into the Pacific over here, and that's uh, where we, we have more activity right now. Uh, normally, northern Gulf, off the Carolinas, and out in the mid-Atlantic, you might have a little flare-up or two around July 25th. Uh, but right now, things are pretty quiet out in the Atlantic due to dry air and wind shear. I'll get to that in a minute. But again, this is not unusual to be quiet right now on July 25th. And a quick inventory. In 2004, we had a lot of activity, especially in the state of Florida. We didn't even get our first name storm until August 31st, so we have uh, quite a ways to go. We could still end up uh, possibly with more, more name storms than 2004. We had 17 name storms. That's still possible. We already have two name storms for this year. All right, here's the wind shear analysis, and you can see our high-pressure ridge right off the coast of uh, North Carolina. And the steering flow is what sent Bonnie through Florida and into Louisiana. Very strong steering flow. Not a whole lot of room for error when you have something that strong of a steering flow sending a system in a particular direction. What's interesting, though, is the wind shear all through the Caribbean, all the way out into the Atlantic. Very unfavorable conditions in the Atlantic right now. And that should remain that way for the next several days. None of the global models are really showing much in the form of development, except for down in the southern, very southern Caribbean off the coast of Nicaragua, maybe late week. But here is the wind shear tendency, increasing wind shear all through the Caribbean out into the Atlantic. A uh, little bit of favorable conditions near Central America. And again, late week we might see something try to pop down there. But that should pretty much head into the Pacific. Here's the LSU vapor loop. 
and the notice the aqua colors on the screen very very dry sinking air you need to have rising air to have tropical storms and look at it between Puerto Rico all the way out to Africa it's sinking air so you, that's very unfavorable for tropical development things should remain quiet for a week or two as this uh, dry air starts to settle down out in the Atlantic this is a shot sent to me uh, before Bonnie even formed um, from Weather Girl up in Fort Walton Beach Florida and, and they were monitoring the oil spill. They continue to monitor the oil spill near the coast with this blimp from the Navy. And she shot this as it was leaving her place in Fort Walton Beach. So they're, they're flying this thing up and down the coast. Probably not today or yesterday because of the high winds from the leftovers of Bonnie. But uh, tomorrow they'll probably be out there flying again. And anywhere they spot oil, they send the skimmers out there to scoop up the oil. And uh, they're monitoring that every day out there. But speaking of the oil, the kill method is going to begin resume here on Monday and uh, they're going to try to kill this well once and for all but we've decided to go back to our normal programming of weather documentaries and storm chaser video and tutorials on hurricanecity.tv and if the oil starts to spill again into the Gulf we'll go back to those webcams but hopefully they're going to kill this thing once and for all this week coming up well that's it for now I'll be back with another tropical update video in a few days if the tropics start to flare up that's it for now thank you again for visiting Hurricane